The diminutive burrowing owl lives on the fringes of the human landscape in America today. A somewhat shy, ground-dwelling bird, the burrowing owl's preferred habitat is flat or gently sloping open space. This presents a conflict because this is exactly the type of habitat that humans prefer for development, such as housing projects, shopping malls, golf courses, or agriculture. And consequently, the burrowing owl has been losing the very ground in which it lives. Burrowing owls range throughout the United States from California to approximately the Mississippi River with an isolated population in Florida and from Canada to Mexico. While they are most prevalent in the western U.S., current research shows that the burrowing owl is declining drastically throughout its entire range. In California, the problem is becoming critical. What we found was that there's, the species seems to have undergone something like a 60% or greater population decline in the last decade. In most areas, the population is drastically reduced. Places where there were hundreds of pairs, now there's usually 10 or 20 or maybe even one or none. But generally speaking, throughout California, there's a decline such that there are several groups interested in listing the bird as an endangered species. In the San Francisco Bay Area, Urban development has pushed the owls into ever smaller patches of land that fringe the South Bay. Amazingly, the tenacious birds cling desperately to their tiny patches of turf, even amidst the construction. Unfortunately, in the long run, most get pushed out. Conservation groups have tried various methods of relocating or restoring burrowing owl populations with limited success. While some of the birds can be moved, the question then becomes, where to? The best indicator of where the birds will thrive is where they have already established residence. To remove them from an existing area and develop it effectively eliminates that area as burrowing owl habitat forever. We've always felt that the burrowing owl should be a species that we can keep, even in an urban setting, because it is so incredibly adaptable to the humans around it. They're okay near roads, they're okay near buildings, they're okay near human activity. This is not the grizzly bear that needs tens of thousands of open acres. Burrowing owls can use a few acres here and a few acres there, and if we manage these few acres for the owls, they will thrive. We've shown that around here but we have to set aside at least some land. The most important thing to do, I mean, if we're really going to save burrowing owls, is we've got to save habitat. We've got to save habitat. And if we don't save habitat, all these other heroic efforts and all these augmentation efforts and hands-on efforts are just going to be for naught. They're just not going to work. We've got to have that habitat for these birds. If any urban species is going to survive, one of the rare ones, it's going to be the burrowing owl because it is so highly adaptable to us. And for that reason, it seems all the more a shame that we haven't been able to manage it yet. It's not the most difficult species to take care of, and we're just not doing our job. Ironically, these owls are very adaptable to living alongside humans. Small patches of good burrowing owl habitat can be incorporated into development plans and can work well if certain landscape and environmental rules are followed. The birds can adapt to an urban landscape and become part of the observable wildlife in the area. Without these and other efforts, scientists and conservationists agree that the burrowing owl in the San Francisco Bay Area will wink out and soon become extinct. Many groups, including the California Burrowing Owl Consortium, have spent more than a decade working on plans to help save burrowing owls in the Bay Area. Right now we're working on a petition to list the burrowing owl as a threatened species in California. And that's not going to be easy, but at the same time nothing else we've tried has worked. I mean, we have for years fought individual developments, development by development, and we've lost almost every single fight. We've tried regional solutions, asking various cities in the area to create a regional burrowing owl plan, and those plans have largely been rejected by the city councils of our area. We've even gone to the state legislature and sponsored a bill to try and plan for the owl so that we wouldn't have to list it as an endangered species. 
And that sailed through both the assembly and the Senate at the state level, but then was vetoed by the governor. So we really have done what people say you should do, which is to try and plan in advance for these species to keep them off the list. But now with all those things not having worked, um, we're really looking at listing the, the owl as an endangered or threatened species, and it's probably its last best chance. If the burn owl isn't listed in the South San Francisco Bay Area, the bird is gonna go extinct. It's simple as that. The developers need the land to build the things like housing and computer campuses and mass transit, and it's burn owl habitat or a housing track. And the developer's there to make money, and without any kind of legal protection, they're gonna go ahead and make money and the habitat will be lost. The owls can have their habitat developed at this point in the non-breeding season, and that's what occurs everywhere. There are some plans to have mitigation to save other habitats outside of the South San Francisco Bay Area, but their species is almost certainly going to go extinct in the next 10 to 15 years, 20 at the max, in the South San Francisco Bay. Often topping a million dollars per acre, land throughout the Bay Area has simply become too valuable in many people's minds to lay fallow for wildlife. If we can't preserve biodiversity in Silicon Valley, how can we ask people around the world to? How can we ask the people of the rainforest to give up subsistence living, um, or the people of the timber forests of the Pacific Northwest to give up their timber towns for the spotted owl, unless we, the wealthiest people in the world here in Silicon Valley, are willing to give up a little of our land to preserve the biodiversity in our area.